Hey there guys, here's another Final Cut Pro X tutorial and in this one I'm going to be showing you how we can um, change the position and um, uh, put multiple video clips into one um, frame so you can show say three video clips next to each other. Um, so we're going to be changing their position within our frame and we're also going to be able to trim and crop them as well. So we'll, um, first of all we'll just throw in a um, piece of video footage that I got here and we'll um, trim it down to where I want it to be so I'll just uh, edit that there okay so we've got a piece of video video footage here um, so that's going to be our our main video sequence uh, which will be displayed there in the middle. Now I want to display two other pieces of video at uh, either side of this so I'm going to grab here our other section of video and we'll drop it in uh, but now obviously if I play that we're going to see the uh, the upper video rather than the lower one so over here in our um, properties inspector, if we go to where we have crop and we choose to trim, we can trim the left and the right side of this piece of video. So you can drag these however you like. We can also trim the top and bottom as well if, 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 if we want, but uh, we'll just leave those as they are. We'll just do the right and left side and then we'll change their position which is here under transform so if we drag this you see we can actually reposition that piece of video in our frame over to the right hand side so we can position it where we want and now if we play this you'll see that we're going to get um, our main piece of video and our other one also playing to the right hand side of it there. So you can do this um, with uh, additional um, pieces of video also if you want you can you can layer these up so we can drag in another one and we could do the same thing with this uh, we can trim it on the left and right sides and then we'll move this one over to the to the left side of our screen there we go so now we've got these uh, three video sequences and each one of them uh, has been trimmed down positioned where we want it and there you can see how it plays um, these can also be keyframed if we wish. So if we wanted, we could say um, we could choose the uh, position of this. to be uh, over here. And we can add a keyframe. We can drag a across and we can alter its position so over that period of time it will change its uh, position from the right side over to the left uh, using keyframe animation of the position property so uh, almost any of these parameters here can be um, keyframed so you could also keyframe the scale as well if we wanted um, so as well as moving this we could also alter its scale from 100% and we could um, enlarge it so it's so the video there in there is even bigger so this time it'll it'll transition from the right side to the left side and at the same time as doing that also the video will scale up within the frame 
So all of these uh, things can be keyframed there. The, the trim can also be keyframed as well. So the keyframe animation is really pretty straightforward. You just go to the area that you want. You will add the keyframe. Uh, you move the slider on a certain number of seconds and, and adjust the, um, the, the parameter. And it will automatically keyframe it for you. So uh, I hope that's of some use. That shows basically how to um, use the trim tool and the um, transform the position of a piece of video within your um, frame. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it of some use and I'll see you next time.